Hello, in this video we're going to talk about macros which allow you to quickly insert predefined text statements into a note, task, order, or any free text area in the EHR. So you'll be able to find the ability to create a macro anywhere in the EHR. You find the main menu icon and that can be found in the clinical desktop in the upper right area. You'll see the round dot with the three lines in it. Click on that, you will see an option called manage macros. If I click on that, that will bring up the manage macros window. So as you can see, I do have one macro that I've created previously right in here. This is the shortcut, which is basically what you would be typing into the free text area. And then this is the, the text that will come out. If I double click that, you can see exactly what it was that I've created. So in order to create a macro, you just go down to the bottom and choose create, and you have the shortcut. In yellow, you can see there's a dot already there. Every macro needs to start off with a dot. So after the dot, you name it whatever it is you would like to name it. So if I wanna call this one test two, I can go ahead and do that, and then write a description. And then in the larger area is where you would actually add your macro, like that. And then if I wanna add more, I can go ahead and hit the enter and edit this any way I want. You also have the option to show merge fields. If I click on this button, you can see over here on the left, the merge field and the actual text, uh, how it'll look on the right. So if I wanted to just put, let's say the date, I can just go ahead and click on the merge field here. And you can see that now, whenever this comes out in the future, it will actually put that date wherever I put this macro. If I wanted to put one more item, I can also put empty fill in the blank brackets. I'll click on that here and there it is there. And then if I don't want to use any more merge fields, I can go ahead and hide it and I can just type in one last message and be done. And once I'm done, I can have the option to spell check. Click the button there and it'll check my spelling. Once I'm done, I can go ahead now and click save. And you can see now the new macro is there. If I ever want to come back and edit it, this is the window that I would come into. There's the edit button. If I want to copy it, let's say I wanted to do another one that had almost the exact same verbiage and all I want to do is change the name of the shortcut, I can go ahead and do that as well. Now, how do you use macros? Where do they go? Where do you find them? Let's talk about a couple of areas. First is the actual note. So I'm gonna open up a note and anywhere you see a free text section, I can go ahead and type my macro. So in this case, I'm gonna type dot test two, hit enter, and there's the actual message that I had previously made. And you click on chief complaint, you can actually see the note view. So that's one spot to do it. So I can also do it in an order. If I'm going to create a new order, and let's say I want to do a POC of a rapid strep, I can go ahead and click on the POC a rapid strep. And anywhere where there's free texting in the performing instructions, in the patient instructions, in the order annotations, wherever I want, I can put my macro. There it is. There's my other macro. And there it is again. So anywhere you see free texting, you're allowed to put your macros. One last spot that I will show you is in the actual tasking. So here I have a new task and I want you to put my new macro in there. And there it is. So you type the dot, the name of the macro and hit enter. And that's how you create macros and how you'll use them in the EHR.